Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at version 1.8 of the community YAS39 Gripen mod. Now a lot has changed since the last video that I did. Uh, mainly uh, inside the cockpit has become click. Well, majority of it has become clickable, and um, it's really started to become its own entity now. So worth having a, a look at uh, what's new. So I mean, if we just take a look around the cockpit now you can see a lot of things have changed um, you, I mean you could just hover around uh, certain buttons and you see that the the yellow cross turns into an action symbol uh, I mean this section is still not um, clickable or this bit or the flight computer there but like things like the gear uh, levers, engine starter, and um, we've got here. I think it's a jetson, emergency jetson. Um, clips for the throttle. Uh, obviously, the switches around the MFDs, which is all nice. The UFC is not clickable at the moment. Um, we do have a, a twist knob just there, which will do the brightness for the HUD. Um, this will be your main MFD of use in uh, all variants. Uh, it still comes in two air to air and air to ground versions. This one really doesn't do much at the moment, and this one is redundant in the air to ground version, but in the air to air version, it uses the F 15 um, air to air radar uh, avionics. And then um, coming down to the right hand side we've, we can arm our um, ejection seat um, the canopy jettisons live uh, so is, we actually have an arm switch uh, which we can click on to standby or live fuel cocks live everything like that we have an APU um, none of this up here is clickable yet got parking brake um, a data cartridge a data transfer cartridge slot there or data transfer unit as they're also called um, internal lights just the floodlights I believe are clickable at the moment uh, this isn't clickable yet and then we've got clickable parts on the flight stick as well um, we have a cover switch there to make sure that the, uh, the trigger is not accidentally fired which is pretty cool but can be frustrating if you've um, made the aircraft live on and you completely forget about the cover and you're on the target and you go to pull the trigger and nothing happens so uh, there is a um, double redundancy I guess is the, the term uh, obviously the first one being the um, the live switch and then obviously the cover afterwards there's also a um, a big upgrade to the the HUD. It has its own uh, s the HUD, a bit like a a big ball that you sit inside of that has the different um, pitch degrees and things like that, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll get this thing up and running, and then we'll take a look at what's changed. Okay, so the uh, aircraft's live, but I don't have the engine running, so I've kept the the APU on, as you can see the green lights there, that's on letting us know that the APU is running. Um, the great thing about the APU is that there is a 45 second um, build up period before the APU comes on um, and then there's a 10 second cooldown period before, you, before switching on the main power which is recommended. Um, uh, and also um, when you flick to switch on the APU um, you will get a yellow light here and then once that's up and running it will switch over to green so there's little things like that just make it a bit more immersive uh, make it um, <clears throat> so much better than um, just flicking a few key bindings so um, as you can see looking around the front here uh, the right MFD not in use as we're in the air to ground mode um, so the um, air to air radar isn't in use the central one we have a, a, an artificial horizon and a datum but apart from 
clicking fix nothing else is really clickable on this at the moment so I'm guessing more will be on the way with that and then our left MFD here as you can see we've got speed in Mac altimeter artificial horizon um, these are I believe that could be the um, G, oh that's G an angle of attack um, and then you've got your throttle how far advanced you are into the throttle um, obviously your temperature your RPMs there and that's your fuel state I'm carrying a, a fuel tank so it's 151 percent in there and then at the bottom here we have our stores um, so yeah we get we can click through the, the various different um, pages um, also the, that twist knob that I was telling you about if we flick it up and there's our our HUD uh, and just how different that looks up up the top here you'll get a, a cross symbol as you go over the top or if you come out from the dive uh, like the top of a, a ball of some kind uh, which is really cool I love what they've done with the HUD um, so we'll just go through some of the pages on the um, on the HUD here so emergency <clears throat> will stick you into that mode which is angle of attack you've got um, artificial horizon bearing tape uh, fuel and uh, I think that might be a VV VVI vertical velocity indicator I'm not 100 percent sure on that one um, and you've got uh, display temp and your engines there which you can switch on and off go back into normal mode uh, HUD doesn't do anything I forgot to mention there's radar altimeter in the middle there um, cabin air pressure uh, cabin pressure sorry in your oxygen levels uh, turn that on and off EPE um, I'm not 100 percent sure what that one is anyone can let me know what that one is so that would be great um, Econ um, doesn't really do anything cursor does nothing um, and then if we come over to the right hand side before I press menu you can change between um, the uh, barometric altimeter and radar altimeter and then you can switch between different modes here just to change your displays up and you can turn your stores on and off like that and you can change your um, your bearing from magnetic to true so you can change that and then we come back down to menu uh, we can switch into our situational awareness although I've not been able to get that working or actually showing any threats yet uh, you do get a an audio audio sound uh, warning to let you know that there's something tracking you or if anything's fired, but it won't tell you which way it's coming from. Um, this is to switch your count measures on and off. And unless those are on, you won't be able to use them. And also, you need to have um, your uh, live switch switch to live um, your main arm so switch those back off and then um, again those are the only two things that you can use in defense page and then you've got air to air refueling status normal obviously when you're plumbed in uh, this will tell you the how much fuel you're taking on it in in fuel status go back to normal and then this is your air to ground or I guess Schval I believe is being used in this the SU-25T um, and then over here you this is where you'll switch it on uh, so you can you're white hot there you go flare is on now you can turn it between hot and not 
and then IBF does nothing. So switching that on with that. Or if we come back over here, actually switch it back on for a second. So if we go here, and we can put symbology on um, track and put the laser on, switch it off. Um, but I don't tend to use the symbols at the moment because obviously the scroll has still got all its symbology up, so it's not, not really needed. Um, but laser designated pod page, we're in there, and we click it again. We come back to our first page. So a lot has been done to the MFDs, and it looks awesome. Um, looking forward to the next update. I have seen that they're working on a helmet mounted display which is using the SU33 um, uh, HMD to work with and um, yeah so if we jump outside quickly I'll let you have a look and we're in what I like to call um, super anti-shipping mode as we've got th four RBS uh, 15s on the pylons um, use um, the Phantasmagoria pod obviously you can't actually see that because it's um, based in internally uh, if we go to ground crew quickly and go to realm refuel you'll see the ECM Elin and Fleur are all internal um, the uh, lightning pod is just for show and um, yeah so it, it, it's pretty mean looking machine and these work really well when they can get through the ship's defences um, so yeah that's um, a pretty mean looking beast as you can see I've got python 5s on the uh, outer pylons carrying a fuel tank and the uh, lightning 3 pod so yeah it's it's quite a quite a nice little beast um, and we also I just got to show you quickly some of the key bindings because um, that's all changed as well right so let's take a look at the controls um, for air to ground uh, get to adjust controls as you can see everything's as normal as it would be with a um, any any mod really but if you go into the sub menus you'll see that there are four Gripen um, controls uh, sub menus now Gripen flight controls um, there's just gear up gear down and canopy in that one Gripen modes is for uh, anyone with out a HOTAS and landing mode which I've never used in the systems you've got your probe APU your mass which is your uh, master arm um, things like that your parking brake and then your weapons um, for your cannon mode count measures trigger and then your, your double redundancy uh, trigger cover basically um, but if we go into Axis, uh, you'll see that, again, there's a load of Gripen-based um, controls uh, in brackets for testing. Uh, these will be what you use for the pitch roll, throttle, wheel brakes and such. But this... Um, this mod has a, a tendency to clash with um, some other mods. Um, the A4 comes to mind as one of them. And what will happen is once you install the the Gripen, uh, if you go straight in, uh, you'll find that none of the cockpit is clickable. And these won't show up. It will just be pitch, roll, rudder, throttle um, without the Gripen at the beginning. So if you do install the mod and you see that in uh, in your controls, you'll know that it is clashing with something else. So there is that to um, to look out for. 
but yeah, the, uh, like I say, there are they're starting to clump together their own controls and everything, which is good. Um, but yeah, uh, let's have a look in the air to air variant. So in the air to air variant, um, everything is pretty much the same the layout, all that as you would expect. Left MFD does exactly the same. But in the central one now we have the F15 RWR and in the right screen we have the uh, F15 uh, search radar, fire control radar. Um, so yeah, that's uh, one of the main differences in here. As you can see the head up display is pretty much the same except that we can now have beyond visual range we have uh, bore sight mode, uh, things like that. So there are, I mean, slight differences, obviously in the avionics air-to-air -air side. Um, and then we have weaponry. And then obviously, as you can see, I've got um, some BVR weapons on there. I've got Iris T's on the wingtips for close in. Um, dogfighting then uh, the middle pylons I've got the meteors and then in board of that I have uh, a couple of Mark 84s uh, for a, a bombing run so the air to ground is still very much available in the air to air variant just it's gravity bombs there's no there's no guidance at all obviously uh, but with the BVR obviously you've got the radar side of things so yeah, uh, and it, it, we've got classic Vigan uh, paint scheme going on here, which is absolutely superb. Uh, a bit like the uh, uh, Swedish Air Force historic flight. Very nicely done. So yeah, uh, I mean, as I say, there are differences. But they're subtle. Um, and there's just two different variants, which we've sort of come to be used to in some of these mods nowadays um, and yeah uh, it's an awesome mod it, it's just I've been watching it for a long time I feel now is a time to do a, sort of a catch up on it and uh, possibly do a cold start tutorial um, so yeah uh, that will come in the next video I should think so yeah the community yes 39 Grippen, fantastic uh, it, I mean I'll put their discord in the um, in the description I recommend following them if you use discord um, they've also got a YouTube channel which I'll also put a link to um, but they're, they're well, well worth a watch um, because they're, they're putting a lot of work in and it is paying off so yeah um, there you go, that's uh, just my catch up on the, the S39 Gripen, uh, both air to air and air to ground. Uh, and I hope that's uh, brought to your attention something that may have faded off into the background um, as they've not sort of put an update out um, for a while. But yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll just keep getting better and better like the the a4 has been um, good team behind it and fully dedicated so and it's free so why why not give it a go anyway if you if you're new to um, DCS and you've got flaming uh, cliffs 3 aircraft definitely give it a go so there you go anyway if you've got this far thank you for watching and as always take care and I'll see you in the next one.